Hi, right, it's Bayard Duan. So today I'm going to talk about Eurypterids. And Eurypterids were a large family of arthropods that lived in North America, Europe, and Asia during the Ordovician and Permian periods. Dinosaurs did not evolve yet, all right? We're still a couple hundred million years away from them. All right, that's how long ago these animals lived. Now these things are also known as sea scorpions, so for the rest of this video, maybe, I will be referring to them as sea scorpions. So, they most likely did live in inland, or they most likely lived in coastal parts of the ocean, but mainly they lived in brackish waters, although some of them possibly did live in fresh waters, so, you know, we got a bit of inconsistencies here, because they lived so long ago, alright? Give me a break. Their size depended on their species, I mean, it makes sense. And some of the smaller ones were about a couple inches long, and the largest ones could have grown to between 7 to 8 feet long. Now, sea scorpions weren't picky eaters at all. They basically ate anything that could fit in their mouths. Yeah, if only people were like that. Now, some sea scorpions include Pteragodus, Eurypterus, Alcanopterus, Ibridopterus, and Jackalopterus. And since these animals are so ancient, I couldn't find a possible weight, so I'll just give their links, alright? Pteragodus was about 5'7. Eurypterus was between 5 to 9 inches long. Alcanopterus was the smallest, being about 0.8 inches long. Ibridopterus was about 6 feet long. And Jackalopterus was the largest, being between 7.5 to 8.5 feet long. Now, these animals went extinct during the Great Permian Extinction, which eradicated about 90% of life on Earth. And the cause of this extinction was most likely climate change, because that's what it is when it comes to prehistoric animals. And the closest living relatives today for Eurypterids include horseshoe crabs, sea spiders, and common day arachnids. Alright, that's it. That's all I got for y'all, so I'm out.